The sensor is inserted into the vagina in the area of the cervix, similar to the use of a tampon or an electronic thermometer. Here it measures predictable biophysical changes which occur during the course of the fertility cycle. The sensor displays diagnostic information in simple language for personal use at home. This allows the user to identify the optimal time for conception and to act accordingly. There's nothing else out on the market that gives us that data other than doing daily blood testing which is very expensive, very tedious and requires a very good endocrinology lab, which isn't always readily available. Oftentimes labs will send these tests out to other states to have the results processed. So this gives us um, a distinct advantage over someone who has to draw the labs on a daily basis and send them out of state. But it's a very clean and easy method to do. There's very little room for patient error and it's a very simple device for patients to use, which uh, facilitates the accurate results that we're getting. The inception of this fertility sensor was in response to a real human need by a husband and wife team of biomedical scientists. Václav and Libushek Kirshner, originally from Czechoslovakia, were inspired to develop this technology after they experienced problems in conceiving, as 